ladies and gentlemen, you know, every single year, thousands of people need kidney transplants in this country. Well, they had a racially biased test and it literally kept thousands of black men, women, and children from receiving transplants. And after all these decades of using that test, they're finally getting around to changing that. And they're now trying to get the transplants done for black patients. But look at how long this whole thing has gone on. And then you want to know why a lot of people are just looking at this place and saying, you know, judgment is just not coming fast enough for many people. But we know it's definitely coming. Boy, do you deserve it. So I got a video from NBC News that I want you to listen to and then I will come back with the rest of my commentary. When PhD student Jasmine Evans finally got the call that she would receive a kidney transplant in July, she was overjoyed. I'm getting a whole kidney, so. Evans was first diagnosed with chronic kidney disease when she was just 17 years old and was put on the transplant list in 2019. She thought she was still years away from being matched with a donor until a letter from her hospital came in the mail last year explaining she should have been added to the transplant list in 2015, four years earlier, and that a racially biased test was to blame. When you got that letter, what went through your mind? At first, I was outraged and just the fact that no one really knew that this was something that was going on, um, it was really jarring and shocking. Evans is one of thousands of black patients who have been prioritized for transplants as a result of a national mandate by the Organ Procurement and Transplantation Network, or OPTN. The new rule, which was instituted in 2022, instructs hospitals to stop using a test that overestimated how well black people's kidneys were functioning. In the 1990s, there was a big study when the, the black participants in this research studies, creatinines and kidney function were looked at, for some reason, they had slightly higher amounts of kidney function for the same level of blood test. And instead of investigating sort of why that might be, the conclusion was that it was based on race. That flawed test, meaning thousands of patients were put on the transplant list years later than they should have been, a potentially deadly wait. For some people, those extra years waiting actually contribute to their either being too sick to get a transplant or um, their premature death. Patients like Evans who were misevaluated have been bumped up on the list with the average patient getting transplants one to two years sooner than expected. But for Evans, who calls herself a reluctant kidney advocate, the fight is not over. What do you believe this represents for thousands of black patients like you? I think it represents hope. It represents reconciling in a lot of ways but i also see that the fight is not over yet there are thousands of black americans that are still waiting for organ donations across the board according to dr pavlakis change takes time some labs are still occasionally using the old race-based formula so doctors need to keep an eye out for their new patients and make sure they're getting the care they deserve tom Ladies and gentlemen, this is absolutely disgusting. Doing something like that to a person that have a life-threatening situation going on with their kidneys and they need a transplant. Now, this has gone on for so long, it makes me wonder how many of our people lost their lives because of this test and being denied a kidney transplant. Wow. Wow, this, this is just, you know, it, this system is, <laughs> this is how jacked up this system is, y'all. These folks will argue you down 
that everything in this society is fair. Oh, y'all just race bait and you're trying to be a victim. You know? No, you, you don't have to try. That's one thing about America. You don't have to try to be a victim in America. <laughs> That's one thing you don't have to try for at all. And this is just further proof that racism is in every single industry across this country. And the only time it upsets them is, is if you react to it. But they have done absolutely nothing in the last 400 years to shut it all down. They have done nothing to shut it down. But if you talk about it, you are the bad person. No, we're not. No, we're not. Nobody is a bad person for pointing out the very obvious. It is sick to come up with a test for a kidney transplant just to rule out the black patients from getting one. That's exactly what this test was all about. And make sure the kidneys was very accessible to any non-black patient. That is pure evil. That's pure evil. And it's the medical industry's fault for using that kind of test. And nobody early in the game said, no, we are not going to do this. But you're going to wait decades later to open your mouth and say, oh, well, you know, we're not going to use this anymore. Could it have something to do with this judgment that you're under now? Could it have anything to do with that? I think it does. Y'all were never willing to change any policy for us. And you're still not really willing to do it. But that judgment, that's here now. It's here doing this last minute stuff, I'm not impressed. And I don't think anybody in our community should be impressed with what you are attempting to do when it should never have happened in the first place. My heart goes out to any of my brothers and sisters out here that are having kidney function problems and you possibly need a transplant or you tried to get a transplant and you were denied because of the evil folks that put this whole system together decided to come up with a racially biased test in order to rule out black patients that were in need of kidneys may you burn in the deepest part of hell y'all please tell me what you think about this video please leave your comment and subscribe don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.